Welcome to the Shore Show. Pat O'Neill, you're here, and as you can see, I'm on the boardwalk in Seaside Heights, where you should be. <laughs> Come down for a day trip, overnight, weekend, week long. Your budget will fit in Seaside Heights. I'm going to come back with one of the best people in Seaside Heights who heads up the Ambassador Program, Mike Grayson. You're watching The Shore Show. We'll be right back. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, Jersey City. Hudson County's only monument maker, serving all faiths and cemeteries. Design studio and launch inventory on site. Cemetery inscriptions and custom orders welcome. Burns Brothers Memorials, Monuments, and Markers, 787 Tunley Avenue, just south of Seacorkers Road. Craftsmanship that will last for all eternity. Burns Brothers, Jersey City, Albert H. Hopper, North Arlington. Visit us on the net. The Jersey City Medical Center. You know it for its award-winning, life-saving ambulance service. It's also your health hub. With health and wellness locations staffed with certified professionals all through Hudson County. The Jersey City Medical Center. Here to help you with your healthy. Here when you need us the most. The Jersey City Medical Center. Visit us on the net to learn more. Jersey City Medical Center. Robert Wood Johnson Barnabas Health Facility. Let's be healthy together. We're back. You're watching the Shore Show, Pat O'Neill, you're here. Like I said before, I'm on the boardwalk in Seaside Heights, where you should be. And when we talk about Seaside Heights, an iconic figure from the arcades for 40 some odd years, and now he heads up the ambassador program, my buddy, Mike Grayson. Mikey, Pat, welcome to the show. Thank you, Pat. It's always a pleasure to be with you, my friend. Every time I think of the Shore Show, and we've been taping down here, I think since 2008, is we were down on the Carter Red stage one time. Yes. You were in shorts and a parker. Yes. I'll never forget that look. <laughs> we're still in shorts now, it's though, Pat. It's cool. <laughs> yes. I don't mind it like this. I'm not faking down here. Maybe it's not the best beach weather, but people are on the beach. Absolutely. Seaside Heights, how do you think we're going to do this year? Well, you know, we're going to open our season on Sunday. Uh, we have a new uh, attraction coming up. Uh, you know that Broadway shows are closed on Mondays, so we're bringing down five or six shows this summer to do a little bit of each show so they get a little bit of interest and sell some tickets and go back to Broadway. That's what's going to be right. We're going to start with Anastasia and the Bronx Tale, and from then on we'll be working on So that's our opening Sunday. Then, of course, Monday we have our, our first Monday night concert, and then, of course, Tuesday is our first movie on the beach, Jaws. So hopefully we're going to have a big crowd. A great movie to have on the ocean. <laughs> now, where are you going to have the Broadway performance? On the Franklin Street? Right here, yes. Right yes. on my stage? Yep. And yeah. uh, they do a little bit of track of the whole show. It's really neat. It's something so, different that hopefully we get a different crowd like they're you They're going to do a little Broadway uh, melodies? Yep, from the shows. The, I think that's a great idea. Yeah. We've, we hadn't done that before nope. here. No, it's brand new. So brand now new. we got to get this show up as quick as we can to social media to get the people down here Abs on Monday. Absolutely. Now, you've been involved with Seaside Heights how many years now? Well, I, I would hate to tell you that. I was born in Seaside Heights a long time ago. And I've been, uh, I started on the bulwark when I was 10 years old, working for Lucky Leo. Lucky Leo. I knew Lucky yeah. Leo was coming in. He was my school teacher, and then he was my uh, mentor, and then I worked with him. And ever since then, I taught down here like he did, and, and I've been here ever since. I guess uh, my last days will be here also, Pat. You born and raised here. Do you remember when Seaside Heights was basically a 12-month-a-year town? Because it kind of got away from that. Well, you know, the old days, uh, we had a nice community in Seaside, a lot of stores on the boulevard. But those days, Labor Day weekend, boom, the next day you could lay in the middle of the street. So the town was always back to its, uh, the com you know, all our, the other folks that lived here. When I, when I look at old videos of Seaside Heights, I'll see an a and I'll see yes. an Acme, you'll see a pharmacy, a game, all, you know, regular, I'm from Jersey City. Yes. Everything I have in Jersey City. And that means that for one time there was a 12 month a year municipality here. But people pe were here all year round. What people don't believe is that at one time uh, in the 60s and the 70s, we had two movie houses, two drug stores, three barbers, uh, four or five uh, little stores at the Acme and that, a car wash that nobody ever heard of. It was just amazing the little things that we had in town. And I guess as soon as the malls came, it started to slow down, slow the mom and pop stores ended up leaving, but it was a great community, and it still is. Well, your mayor wants to bring that back. He's Absolutely. gone all family in Seaside Heights, Mayor Boz. Yeah. He wants to go back to the 12-month-a-year community. He wants to, actually, Seaside Heights, it's one of the lower property taxes in New Jersey. 
He had, you know, homes available down here, and he had everything from schools to supermarkets to park, senior buildings. You got a retirement uh, building going up for 55 and over. Yep. This year, right now, move to Seaside Heights, you're getting in the ground floor. And what we don't have here, they got in Tom's River. Tom's River, right. So, yeah, and of course, Miravise is pushing that very strongly on the boulevard. Yep. Right? Yeah, and they, we do have transportation for people to get in and out. You got the big bus stop here. It's yep. really remarkable when you look at Seaside Heights. The structure is there yep. for a 12 month a year. So really, if you're looking to put down roots, Seaside Heights is a good place. If you're looking to go into business, that boulevard's going to be hopping. Absolutely. And I see Seaside Heights as the next Asbury Park in a very short span of time. But when we come back with our second segment, we got to talk more about the boardwalk. And you got a long history in arcades. <laughs> yes. Now, it was Lucky Arcade you worked with? Yes, I did, yes. Now, is there anything you missed from your younger years on the boardwalk here? Is there uh, one stand or some attraction that was in your past and you'd like to bring back now? Well, most of the, what we don't see now are the wheels, okay? We used to have a lot of wheels. Uh, grocery wheels, candy wheels, towel wheels, merchandise wheels, and they're gone now. I would like to see some of the wheels come back, family wheels. But what we do have now is the candy wheels. They're pretty popular now. Well, but the, you, you, I'm going to have the wheel man on yes. in this block of, uh, of uh, tapings today, yeah. Dave Scott yes. from the oh, Coin David. Castle. Well, absolutely. But you're right, I remember a stand when I honeymooned here in the 70s. Uh, Aunt Rosie's stand. Yep. That was like cereal and yes. detergent. It was a great stand. Yeah. All right, we're going to break for commercial. You're watching the Shore Show. My guest is my, Mike Grayson. We'll be right back. Pen and Pencil Properties, Jersey City. Shape in the workplace with state of the art office spaces that address your company desires. Building residences that define your home environment, adjacent to all modes of transportation with on site parking available. The right address. The right lease. Call 201 521 9000 or visit online at panapintoproperties.com. Panapintil Properties, building Jersey City for everyone. Good Friend Self Storage in North Bergen, New Jersey is a fully climate controlled facility equipped with state of the art security, packing supplies, a refer friend program, and multiple loading docks convenient for commercial use. Located just off of Route 3 at 4301 Tunnelly Avenue, Route 1 and 9. Call 201-867-2444 or visit us on the web today. Good Friend Self Storage. Let us be your good friend. We're back. You're watching the Shore Show. I'm on the boardwalk in Seaside Heights, where you should be. Go to Exit 82. Gives you all the rundown of what's going on in Seaside Heights. And go to our website, HMG TV Shows. We're going to do a daily splash. Not a flash, a splash telling you everything that's going on. Back to my guest, my buddy, Mike Grayson. You know, we're, we're fully recovered from Sandy, which it's amazing how a lot of people don't know that. I'm at Value City Furniture. And we're buying a dinette set. As you know, my daughter's bought a house here in Seaside Yes, you're, you're a resident I'm now. I, I'm telling you, the price of the house, if you were to buy that in Jersey City, is 700 grand. Yeah. This is a two-family, 5,000 square feet, two-car two garage. You know, we're in there like two, 250. Yeah. You can't beat that. But we bought a dinette set at Value uh, City Furniture in Bayonne. They still got the 3.5% sales tax. Even That's, though they got one at Tom's River, yeah, we went there. I, I don't blame you. And I, I'm giving the woman the address to deliver. She goes, ah, Seaside Heights. You think they're ever going to open again? I said, is what? that something? I said, you know, Seaside Heights is open. Is there anything you need to know? And her name is Stephanie. And I said, Stephanie, when you're ready to come down, I gave her my card. You call me. I'll set your whole little vacation up for you. You'll be amazed. This is how Seaside Heights is open. Yeah. Sandy, the fire, that's all in our past yeah. now. Yeah. And, you know, I tell you. Seaside Park's getting back in the game. That can only help us. You've got a lot of attractions coming down here. A lot of reasons to come down. And you'll notice now, Pat, that the area that got burned out, uh, the area that was in Seaside Heights is starting to be redeveloped again. You know, at, that fire took about 90 stands away, 90 businesses, uh, which were here for 50, 60, 70 years. So that was a big hit for the town also. But now they're starting to rebuild again. 
and hopefully we'll be back another couple of years to where we were. Well, we got we really got lucky with the Serino family because yes. we lost the Fun Town Pier in Seaside Park. Yes. But they stepped it up with the Casino Pier. They brought in more amusement. Yeah. And I'm really interested to see with Seaside Park right now. We're showing the footage of all the new stands they're building yes. there. I think it's called the Beach Bars coming back. Yes. I understand it's going to have a swimming pool. Yes. Yeah, that's yep. going it, you know, it, Seaside Heights is definitely the main de yeah. you know, destination for tourism here in New Jersey. And you'll notice with the new area that uh, they have pilings there. That's like the footprints that they had before. So when, they would, when we have the dune replenishment, uh, th that area would be protected from that. So where they could be able to put the Beach Bar in there. Well, Perfect. somewhere along the Somewhere this year or next year, they're going to do the dunes here in Seaside well, Heights. They're working in Ortley Beach right now as we speak. And uh, supposedly in the beginning of uh, the end of August or the beginning of September, or in the middle of September, they're going to start our project well, here. Well, a little, if we push them into October, yes, it's them do October. better. So, you, you know, this year, Mother Nature hasn't been too cooperative. Yeah. I was goofing around with Mayor Boz, said, you know, we may have to recall you. Since you've been mayor, we've had rain every weekend. But he got a break last week. We had good weather. Yes, yes. And it looks like, again, good weather this weekend. And we definitely need it, yes. And, yes. You know, it's great for the businesses. It's yes. great for the people in New Jersey. And, you know, yeah, I come from Jersey City. I'm, I'm down here in an hour. Yep. You know, I'm leaving Jersey City. An hour later, I'm looking at the ocean. I'm looking at the beach. You can't beat that. And you got a bunch of new businesses. You got some new stands. But I'm at you got a lot of new businesses coming up on the boulevard now. Yes, we do. Here's the, what is that, the Real and Brew? The Real the brew at the Micro Bar. Uh, we have a new art center going to be there, a little art store. Uh, we have a couple other little businesses that just opened up. So they're starting to fill in. And once you get the nucleus of it filling in a little bit, then it's going to be, I think, real big development there. Well, I tell you, the, the boardwalk looks great. You know, you got a great DPW guy. Yeah. Yeah, he's, the best. he sweeps this beach every morning. The, the, the boardwalk is pristine. All the stands, everything is pretty much open on the board. I don't think there's any remnants of sea, uh, Sandy no. or the fire anymore. Everything's open. The stands are open, restaurants. There's anything you want to do in Seaside Heights. Absolutely. Man. Now, I'd like to, I agree with you. Maybe with some of these stands in Seaside Park, they bring back some of the wheels. You ran the, the Lucky Arcade for yes. the 40? What, what kind of arcade was that? Well, it's the same was that. See, my mentor was Lucky Leo, of course. We've you know, been on this show boyfriend. many times. And my arcade, I named it Lucky's Arcade. For some strange reason, it just went in my mind. So I had a pizza stand there, and I had a little clothing store. So when the storm came, of course, it wiped that out. And I moved everybody to the north end, to my friend's place, and then they had the fire. And the fire. So we had a double whammy, my people. So, so it's you, been a problem, yeah. Do you have any desire to get back in the stand? Because I know you're heading up the ambassador program yeah. here. You know, you miss the action. You know, you miss the, the, the interview with the people. That's basically what I've always done, and I, and I enjoyed that. But, Give me a quick rundown on the ambassador program before we let you go. Well, you know that uh, we have our visitor center here with all our stuff in there, and we have areas where people can ask where to go and what to do. We have water for some of the senior citizens that look like they're hot and they want something to drink and maybe a little transportation if they need that. So, you know, we're really catering to the families on I top of that. I've just seen one of your four-wheel vehicles yes. go by. Now, yes, if a yes. senior or somebody needs a ride, we take care you of them. give them yeah. a ride? And, and we also have a free ride now, too, which uh, is sponsored by the bid, and it's free. Exit 82 for anything you need to know about Seaside Heights. If you got some questions, track down Mike Grayson. He's on the boardwalk all the time. We're going to break for commercial. I don't know who we're going to be back with, but Mike's got to run his ambassador program. You're watching The Shore Show. We'll be right back. Newport, the luxury waterfront community on the Hudson River, offers a quality of life you deserve in 10 high-rise rental towers with amenities such as the on-site Newport Path subway, light rail and ferry service, Newport Town Square, three playgrounds, dog run, upscale restaurants, retail giants like Sears, JCPenney, Macy's, and Target. Morton Williams Supermarket is just outside your front door. A health and fitness club, spa, skating rink, and medical facilities are also on site. NewportNJ.com Enjoy the New York skyline from Newport Town Square. Manhattan is just one path stop away or quick ride through the Holland Tunnel. Nursery and private elementary schools all on site. 12 screen movie theater at the Newport Center Mall. Want to visit Newport? Stay at the Western or Marriott Hotel. Go to NewportNJ.com for details. Newport has luxurious towers, great restaurants, shopping, New York skyline views, schools, playgrounds, a marina and yacht club, gym, spa, fine wine, fine living. It's incredible. It's you. NewportNJ.com.
The Jersey City Medical Center, you know it for its award-winning, life-saving ambulance service. It's also your health hub, with health and wellness locations staffed with certified professionals all through Hudson County. The Jersey City Medical Center, here to help you with your healthy, here when you need us the most. The Jersey City Medical Center, visit us on the net to learn more. Jersey City Medical Center, Robert Wood Johnson, Barnabas Health Facility. Let's be healthy together. We're back, you're watching The Shore Show. Mike Grayson's going out to handle his ambassador program. It's like I said, Mike is a fixture on the Seaside Heights boardwalk. If you want to talk fixtures, she's not there yet, but her <laughs> yeah. relative, Lucky Leo himself, is an icon on this boardwalk. He is. Danny Whalen, right? Danny yeah, Whalen. Whalen, all right, I know you're married in. You're married into the family. Yes. Or are you an actual Whalen? Uh, no, I'm married you're, into you're the family. You're married in. Tommy's and wife. Yeah, how long you been in, in the family now? Uh, I'm down here eight years. Eight years? Yeah. When you got married, did you, did you know you're marrying into amusement? <laughs> uh, well, I knew. Like I carnival did. people? <laughs> yeah, they're fun. They're really a fun family. They are they love good kids. family. They are fun. Yeah. You got it right when you say that. Yeah, Especially yeah. The, uh, the the matriarch of it all. You know, yeah. Lucky Leo yeah. himself. Heart of you gold. Know, matriarch, you know, patriarch, right? Isn't that patriarch? Patriarch. Yeah. patriarch. Lucky Leo. And with, you know, with, before the cameras rolled, you were saying he's 91 now. He's 91. Still uh, playing golf. I had him Still on the show last the year. Yep. Sharp as a tack. Yeah. You know, we were joking about this. and. Yeah, this is successful. Now you're running the Lucky Leo's Sweet Shop. Sweet Shop. Yeah, yeah. Sweet Shop. Yeah. And it really worked out because last year we were goofing on you. Said, is this another Cinnabon? Were you here for the Cinnabon? Yes, yeah, that was Cinnabon Tommy's venture. Out. Yeah, it didn't work out so well. Now, the Dunkin' Donuts left. And I seen it's, yeah. uh, what is it, Bada Bean? Bada Bean. Bada Bean. Bada Bean. I thought that was a whaling yeah. thing. No. No, I, I, I looked at that and I said, I know this is the whaling but it's not. Not, it's a, no. They're but Italian. it looks like it. Yeah. It, it looks like it. Yeah. So candy. Candy, candy chocolate. You're in it. Belgian. Now, chocolate. You, you make all sorts of candy. There, we right? do. We do. We just started making uh, CBD bonbons. CBD is a uh, hemp plant. And we use the oil in our bonbons. And can, can you get a bug off that? No, there's no THC. It's pure CBD, which is super helpful with the omegas, the three, six, and the nine. And it helps with pain. Uh, there, a woman came in, she actually stayed a day longer because we didn't make them in time for her departure for her to head home. She stayed in the hotel a day longer to come and buy her bonbons. She said it was the first night after she bought them that she slept pain free. She has fibromyalgia. So oh, she yeah. stayed an extra day to buy a dozen and you don't or so. Need a prescription. You know. Yeah. But no, you stayed you probably to. at the Aztec. Uh, I'm not sure where she was staying, but I know she stayed one more day just to be able to come back and buy our bonbons with the three milligrams. Now, for the, the audience, the Aztec is a hotel right on the boardwalk. Yep. I stayed there many, many. But I met on honeymoon back in 1978 uh, there. Good. It's an awesome place. Were you one of the moving forces behind the sweet shop? Or were you one of the people dragged in screaming and kicking? <laughs> I was brought in, I guess, towards the uh, end. It was Tommy and Stevie, the Whalen brothers and Elaine came up with the idea of the sweet shop and they asked me what I thought and if I'd get involved and help design the shop and um, create the graphics and yeah, Were you all so in at the beginning the or are you like, wait a minute? Yeah, <laughs> yeah I, I, was wanna, all, I was all I in. It sounded chocolate? like a fun project and it's still fun. It's still fun. Candy's just great and uh, the chocolate we make is amazing. The Belgian chocolate, it's um, non-GMO and it's a really great product. Well, when I walk by, you're constantly busy. Yeah. And you got, I like the we glass nice cases. Flow. You see all the. Yeah. And somebody, when I walk by, I guess it's, I'm a big guy. They always come out to me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Pat. Try I this. have to bring you uh, some taffy. No, I'm trying to keep my bridge in my mouth. They're giving me taffy. <laughs> yeah. And I'm just trying to lose some weight. Here's some chocolate. Now, do you have like uh, fat free chocolates or fat free candies? We have sugar free. We don't have fat free. You want the fat? What they're saying in the health world is the fat's good yeah. for the brain, the good fat. The cocoa yeah. butter is yeah, good for the brain. The cocoa butter actually satiates you, so you don't need to eat as much chocolate. Oh, You're I didn't, satiated. I, I yeah. Did, I yeah. didn't know that. Yeah. If you so, take the fat out, you just don't feel as full. Take take me through. You're starting the day. What time? What time's the sweet shop open? Uh, the sweet shop opens typically. Well, we, we're at 11 now. We'll, we're going to be switching to our summer hours. We'll open at 10. But uh, the staff comes in and 
the tempering machine gets turned on, they start tempering the chocolate, and we start uh, making it for right away. For the uneducated, what is tempering chocolate? Tempering chocolate is heating all the ingredients. You put the chocolate into the tempering machine. We just got one from Belgium. Uh, big expense, but worth every second. <laughs> or worth Isn't that where they make? <laughs> Isn't that where chocolate came from? Yeah, Belgium? chocolate. They make beautiful, incredible chocolate. Our chocolate is from Belgium also, but the machine from Chocolate World is amazing. You, Put the chocolate into the machine, the bits, and it heats it to the perfect temperature where all the ingredients come together, and it gives you that beautiful snap and the beautiful sheen on the chocolate. You know what I got to do? I got to get Mike when you're tempering or doing it. Yeah, to yeah, film yeah. It. So he can and see. We can cut this in. Yeah. Know, well, we got to get this show up quick because there's a bunch of events coming Monday. Broadway performers are coming down. Oh, right fun. out you right out right here on this stage. Oh, no kidding. Awesome. Anastasia, Bronx Tail, they're all going to be here. Wow, so you'll awesome. we'll be doing some good business. Yeah, we'll be making some chocolate. I, I and know, we're making fudge now. We're the making, fudge girls back there. Yeah. The, the, the place starts in the summer at 10. There's nobody uh, at 8 o'clock doing that? No, no. All right, let's pick this up on this. we got to break for commercial. Yep. You'll take me right through the work day, how many people are in the back, that sure. sort of thing. You're watching the Shore Show. I'm with Danny Whalen from the Lucky Leo Street Shop. <laughs> we'll be right back. Rama Jewelers, located in the Lyndhurst Shopping Center at 413 Valley Brook Avenue, Lyndhurst. Come for all your jeweler needs at Rama Jewelers, where you will find a fine selection of necklaces, earrings, rings, and bracelets. Choose from one of our complete sets, our many signature items, or find the perfect engagement ring. Come on down, that's Rama Jewelers at 413 Valley Brook Ave, Lyndhurst. Call 201-939-5784 or visit us online today. It takes more than a state-of-the-art medical facility to make a great hospital. It takes a team of dedicated medical professionals. That's the Jersey City Medical Center, Hudson County's number one hospital. Medical teams consisting of New Jersey's top doctors, magnet award-winning nurses, and accomplished hospital associates, all committed to your good health. That's what you have at the Jersey City Medical Center. Make Hudson County's number one hospital your first choice. Visit us on the web at BarnabasHealth.org. Watching the Shore Show, my guest is Danny Whalen from the Lucky Leo Sweet Shop. We're on the boardwalk in Seaside Heights. A little windy, but it's a nice it's day. Windy. It's not super hot. I'm not baking out here. And Danny's going to take us through how you prepare a how day of prepare? candy. Is there like a menu? You're going to say, well, it's Tuesday. This we what make candy up the, we need. the list usually the day before of what they'll be making. We usually run milk, or we run dark, or or the white chocolate. So it's the list of or the Oreos or clusters or uh, turtles that we make with a caramel. We have apples done one day. They're making cotton candy and fudge right now. It's uh, That's a typical Wednesday schedule. Well, milk chocolate is probably the most prominent chocolate. Uh, right? Milk chocolate's really popular, but more, more and more of our customers are preferring the dark because it has a little bit less sugar. Uh, it's vegan. It's a little more healthful. Um, and it depends on um, what you like, I guess. Sometimes you want you something a little white sweeter. Chocolate? We do sell yeah. white chocolate. It's delicious. I never understood that. It doesn't even look like chocolate. I'm gonna have to bring um, bring some no. over and you can try it. it, it <laughs> it's the, really the last thing I need. Yeah. But now we're talking chocolate. What are the you, you have you got the candy apples? We make the candy apples, we make I the used red to love candy them. apples, the coconut when I had apples. Teeth, <laughs> when I had teeth I could bite into that. I, I used the, to love them. Caramel apples, specialty apples, we make the cotton candy, we make caramel corn, caramel corn drizzled, we call it the black and white corn with our dark chocolate and white chocolate. Um, the fudge, we make all the fudge and all the chocolate. And yeah. we're making bonbons now that have uh, their, it's a shell, I guess, of chocolate with the ganache inside. We make a creamy filling. I'm gonna have to bring you guys some so you can see what I'm talking about. Yeah. They're really good. You're pretty, you're, you're a slender built woman. <laughs> You have your figure. Yeah. How do you manage that? What do you put duct tape over your mat? How do you? How do you? No, not, I just. How do you not gorge I, on this stuff? It's it for me. It's easy. I love chocolate. It's incredible chocolate. But I feel like uh, everything in moderation. I have days where I eat chocolate and days that I don't. I don't do anything in moderation. <laughs> so, That's what works for me. Now you said you work in the front end. 
I work in the front end. I order for the shop the gifts. We go to all the shows. We went out to Chicago uh, for the um, sweets and snacks show. Um, we have another show in, in New York. We're going on uh, Monday. So. What do you do at the shows? You bring your samples, or you? Uh, no, no. You get it's ideas. You we get ideas, and we look at uh, product for the shop, and and just see what everyone's doing, so we can stay up and current. And the current seems to be uh, what we're doing, which is non-GMO. You know, people care about, or we're finding our customers care about the chocolate that they're eating, and they want to know the ingredients. They want to know what's in it. They want to be able to read it. We have only you five. You post the calories? Yeah, uh, no, we don't post the calories, Good. but we post the ingredients of our dark chocolate. My daughter and, and I chocolate. are in Wendy's. We're getting burgers. Yeah. With Dad, look at the calories on a double stack. I so said, I probably shouldn't get the double stack. <laughs> she's looking at the salad. The, the salad it was like a, a berry burst salad with chicken. That had a lot of calories. You yeah. put the calories on there, that'll stop you from wanting to order yeah. anything. Yeah, don't put the calories out there. <laughs> now, you went. A six-month course, were you one of the ones that went to uh, uh, learn how to make the candy? Yeah, we went to take a course in um, out in uh, Pennsylvania, and it was great. We learned how to make chocolate. That was uh, over a year ago. Have you gone to Hershey's? No, to I've her never gone to You've Hershey's. Never been? I don't, oh, come I don't on, like you're Hershey's. Candy business. You gotta be, you gotta stop. I, I, I'm not a fan of Hershey's chocolate. They don't put cocoa butter in it. How do you find people who know how to do this? Temper the chocolate, make the candy. Uh, apple. We interview. We're in contact with uh, University of Penn. They have a chocolate pastry school there, so we're in contact with the professors and they give us some recommendations of kids to hire. And sometimes, you know. Kids just have an affinity for food and chocolate, and it just oh, works really? out. It works out really Kids well. They like chocolate? making it. Well, they like making it. So. Will you train people to do that if they're yeah. willing to learn? Yeah, it's really easy. It's not. It's not that complicated. It takes a little finesse to make them beautiful, but to actually uh, run the machine, it's once you know how to run the machine, it's pretty simple. Your tempering is it, it, much like faster chemistry now. Chemistry when you're mixing all the parts. No, there's just a certain amount of chocolate that goes in. It's a certain heated at a certain temperature. Last year we struggled with our other tempering machine. Um, it took a lot longer, 45 minutes to an hour, sometimes hours, to figure out how to get chocolate to temper. The uh, temperature in the room also affects the temper. With this new machine, we're tempered in 15 minutes. It's like there's no waiting. You put the chocolate in. Heats it up to the perfect temperature. It's tempered, ready to go. So you're committed. The Lucky Leo family, the whale and the committed. <laughs> yeah, we're committed. And, and it worked out. Yeah, we have customers, uh, re repeat customers that just keep coming back. They love our chocolate. Now, is there a website if people don't, can't we come do here? Have, Will you ship it? Yeah, absolutely. It's tough to ship chocolate in the summer, but we can do it. It's a little bit of extra packing with heat, heat pack or cooler packs, but. Yeah. Well, how do they find you on the internet? Uh, uh, Lucky Leo? Leo We're actually under construction now. Our website's being renovated and updated. So. Well, you'll find out you're doing that forever. <laughs> we're, we're doing the same yeah, thing with I our know. website. We're going to streaming. Now we got our own yeah. cloud. We got our own yes, server. Yep. It, it, it never ends. And Instagram and Facebook you got and it, all yeah. of that. Yeah, and we're on I don't, I don't know any of it, so everybody else. For that matter, we're, we're trying to figure out how to advertise on YouTube and oh. uh, Facebook. Yeah. And it was the thing this morning that they're changing how to advertise. On YouTube. Yeah, they are. They're, they're oh. doing away with Google AdWords. Oh, no kidding. And, uh, yeah, I, not that I knew too. it, but the little bit I did know now doesn't apply. <laughs> All right, we're at a show for Mike Grayson, Danny Whalen. I'm Pat O'Melia. You're watching the Shore Show. Come on to the boardwalk in Seaside. I'll see you on the boardwalk. Good night.